<sighs> screen working okay <clears throat> wait what crimson just typed in chat i'm not wait i'm live uh whoops <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get next time. Welcome to the video. My name is Murray. Today we're going to learn how to use the Adobe Dynamic Link from Premiere Pro to After Effects and from After Effects to Premiere Pro. A lot of people know how to do it from Premiere Pro to After Effects. They don't know how to do it backwards and they don't know how to link it properly in case they start their project in After Effects and they want to render it out in Premiere Pro. For example, if you want to use the Stinger Transition Pack, which is on the shop, you can use the coupon free at checkout if you don't want to pay for it. If you want to actually use that in your own stream, but for example, if I had those and created them in uh, After Effects, I'm just distracted by chat now. People are still tuning in. So if you created your asset in After Effects and then have it in Premiere Pro, you want to render it out as a WebM file because you want to have a transparent background like a Stinger transition, for example, then you can do that and drag it into Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you how to do that. Leave a like on the video. That really be appreciated. It helps get it out towards other people, get views, watch through the whole video because it helps pay for the giveaways in the Discord. I am giving away a $50 gift card to Amazon. Link is down below in the Discord. Feel free to join that, enter the giveaway. Sweet. Leave a like, that'd be awesome. I measure my self-worth by that. All right, so here we are on the computer and this is a pack, a download pack for your transitions for streaming and editing. It's a free download if you want it to be. You don't have to pay for it if you don't want to. Use the coupon free at checkout, but you can get this and you can pay for it if you like. I appreciate the support, but let's just say that you have this transition in After Effects and let's assume that this is your project and you're ready to export it. Let's say I'm happy with it and I only I can only render WebM files in Premiere Pro. If I want to render them for my stream, I can only do that from there. I can't use after effects or at least the files are not optimized they're huge and it bogs down your computer especially if you don't have a fast machine so here's how we're going to do that i've got premiere pro open what i'm going to do is open my file explorer once that's dragged in it's going to ask me what file i want to import let's just go to transition 7 because that's what i had and there's the transition composition that i have that's the one i want to export so once i bring that into premiere pro i can just create a new sequence by dragging it onto the new composition icon and then i'm just going to zoom in here just so we can see what it looks like you can see there's my transition awesome thing is is if i go to after effects if i make any updates in here for example let's hide the logo it's going to update in real time in premiere pro i'm just going to undo that and it's going to update again as well now if you do want to make sure that this is on an alpha background what you can do is go to new item and you can go to color mat i'm just going to click ok select the color i want and then after a bunch of okays i'm going to drag that underneath and you can see that there is a transparent background with this you can see that over there just for the sake of the tutorial so i'm going to delete that get rid of it and you can obviously add all your sound effects anything like that awesome thing is is if you have sound effects in after effects already set up it's going to import it into your premiere pro when you drag it in and it's going to bring it in here once you have that done obviously i don't have that here because i didn't have that set up in after effects i do most of my sound design in premiere pro it just makes things easier and it's more efficient. Now let's say I have my video footage started in Premiere Pro and I want to take it into After Effects. So let's say this is the shot I have here and let's say I want to do some type of visual effects that is better to do in After Effects than it is in Premiere Pro. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to replace with After Effects composition. Now real quick before I do that because I have After Effects already open it's going to create it in this project. So if you have After Effects open and you don't want that to happen like I don't want it to appear in this project I'm just going to close After Effects give it a couple seconds right click on my clip replace with After Effects composition and then it opens After Effects it's going to ask me to save it Let's just say I'm happy with the name. I'm going to save that. Usually I would save it in the same project file or location where Premiere Pro is located and it's in After Effects and I can do all my fun shenanigans. So if you enjoyed, subscribe, stick around for the future. I do a lot of editing tutorials, visual effects, how to stream, make it look good, build your brand and just have fun with video online in general. Leave a like, it would really help the channel out. And remember the Discord down below has a giveaway. Feel free to enter that. Really awesome. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. It helps pay for all the gift cards and free stuff I give to you guys. Much love. But until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting.